Hi. In this video, uh, we are going to see about the Amazon punch out actually. I will not share my screen now. So before you start punch out, what you do is you will know uh, when you go to this place now, right? So click on the navigator on the left hand side top, and then you go to the tools now. Okay, and go to the tools, and then click on the download ADF desktop integrator. This is the one. So first of all, download the ADF desktop integrator under the tools actually. Click on it. The not download it. So once when it is downloaded, what you do is you go and then install it actually. <clears throat> You know, getting downloaded on the top point. And then double click on the install. And that's very, very, very must actually. So click on it. And then it's not getting downloaded now. It's not downloaded. Then click on it. And then we go there. And then double click on the go to the folder now. Go to the folder. And then in the folder, sometimes what happens is we'll be having a lock actually. Right, right click on that one. Go to the properties. And go there. It's locked. Fine. I will not unlock it first of all. Unlock and then apply. So when you're downloading it, sometimes it comes as a lock. Fine. So double click on it and install it. You are going to install it. I click on it. Click on next. We are now installing the ADF desktop integration. I click on install. <clears throat> so it's now getting installed. So installation is coming. and close. Now what happens after having installed? You always what happens? You go there and then you down. You what happens? You log out and log in. Now, having done this, what happens? You go there, log out and log in. So sign out and then sign in. <laughs> sign out and sign in. Now what happens? I will now log in as what. The second employee, right? the second employee is a basically a SSP requester actually. So I'll now go there and then log in. You know, going to make a shopping on the Amazon actually. You know that the login of that. I will now go to the procurement and then here I will now go to the purchase requisition. You know, make you going to make a shopping on the Amazon. You know, make a shopping on the Amazon. <clears throat> so go there. So I will now go there. Click on it. I will now what happens? You you go to what? Uh, more task is coming in the bottom. What happens? We have the Amazon. Right? Click on the Amazon. It will not take you to the Amazon website now. Right? It will not take you to the Amazon website. So it is not taking you to the Amazon website. There, what happens? It will come over here. Right? Click on it and then go down. And then let me take up this monitor. Right? Click on the monitor. So this is the monitor I want to buy now. Right? Click on it. So this monitor, it will be Amazon will be having a category actually. Right? Go down. The bottom, what happens? You will not find up one UN SPSC code. So UNSPSC code will be there. You will not be able to see it. Click on it. And then uh, it is not visible here. Now if I click on it. So what you do is uh, you click on the more details. Now if I click on show more. I click on show more. And then go down. Now if I click on it. It's not visible here. You have to see the specs of it now. You have to see the specs of it. Now. And the specs is available here. So there, what happens? You will not see the one UNSPSC code actually. <clears throat> uh, go up, go up. <clears throat> Sold by all these things are coming now. Mm. Voltage, all these things are coming. So you'll be finding one even SPSC code actually. Mm. Display power connectivity measurements, uh, item details, fine. Expand it. So the UPSC, yeah, this is the UPC code. The UN SPSC code. So the code. So UN SPSC code is the one. Fine. I will not take a copy of this code. So this has to be mapped to an appropriate category in our uh, system, actually. I will not go to the notepad. So UNSPSC code has to be mapped upon. UNSPSC is a code. Fine. This code has to be mapped into a system, actually. So let us now go there. And then you know, what happens? We will now go back here. Now. <clears throat> uh, you know that. So I will now go there. Click on it. I will now open up the Edge browser. Fine. There's the Dev89. Now see the question coming on back on book coming now. Debate is not coming. Go there, fine. Debate in the left wing. I will not take up the copy of this topic. I will not go there. I will not take a copy of it. I will not log in as what? Uh, EMP3. And he is the person who is not who is the admin actually. So he's a cat admin. So we'll not log in as cat admin. So there, I will now map it to the category. I will now go there. I will now log in as EMP3. So he is a cat admin. So the incoming UN SPSC has to be mapped into our category actually. So I will now go to the home now. I click on the home. So click on the home now. I am now logging as a cat admin actually. I go to the procurement. I go to the procurement. So procurement may be in the beginning, I think. And <clears throat> you know, go to the procurement now. Go to the procurement. And then there I will now go to the catalog there. 
I will not go to the catalog. So there, I will not go to the mapping of the catalog. I will not click on it. And then here, what happens? I will not go to the manage supplier content mapping set, actually. Thank you. So go to the manage supplier content mapping set. And go there. I will not click on the mapping set. That this arrow is gone. You may zone and use one business unit. You click on it, what happens? It will be getting downloaded. You can see it's not coming. If I click on the edit button, I click on the edit button, it will not start to download. So here, what happens? I will not go to the what's called again the folder, and then I will not right click, and then what happens? I will not unlock it. I will go to the properties, and then unlock it. I click on apply, and then click on that. Now I will not open it. So once when you open up, it will not ask you the username and password. Don't worry, double click on it. So once when you open up, what happens? It will not ask you the username and password. Unlock it. Now asking you, do you want to connect? Fine, click on connect. I don't want to connect to the Oracle system. Or fine, click on connect. I'm connecting it. So I'll not say it's there. I'll not give the username. So EMP3 is basically a cat admin. So we'll not log in as a cat admin. So once when you log in, what happens? It will not start to bring in the data. So once when the data is brought, actually. So we have to make an insert now. Click on it. So that category may not be there at all. I'm select it. Then go there. So let us not make an insert now. So click on it. I'll not right click and then insert now. I'm going to insert a line. You're inserting a line. So we will not put this one now. Along with that. So the number which you have taken off, I click on it. The number now. 0321192. I'm going to take a copy of it. So this is the incoming number from Amazon. No? I'm going to paste it. So give it a tap. And then here, what happens? You go there. Double click on it. What happens? It will now open up our catalog categories. Now open up the categories. So there's no processing. Go uh, messages for this worksheet or listing will find no errors. The display category category is not coming. And then it is still not coming up. Uh, okay, well, it is not bringing in actually. It has to bring in uh, all the categories of this. I don't know what I'm going to go there. So let me, what happens? Go on and write my category manually. I will not delete it. And then what happens? I will not delete it. Delete this line. No, thank you for it. I'm not going to delete it. And then I will not write it. My T01 underscore desktop. I will not delete everything. So give a tab. No, thank you for that. I'm not tabbing it up. So whenever an incoming from Amazon with this uh, UN SPSC code is coming, fine, it will be mapped to our category. This is what is. Then go there. I will not click on the upload in the manage mapping set. Fine, click on upload. I'm not going to upload this. Fine, click on upload. So the upload has to fast. Action fail is now. So go there. So click on OK now. Fine. We'll see whether the upload gets passed or not. Insert failed actually. <clears throat> so it doesn't insert raw file that point. So right click on that. What happens? They go there. I will know what happens. The format sales I link to the range actually. So but in fact, what happens? It will be basically giving me a yeah, thing now. Fine. It has to what else I come like this. Fine. So this is a duplicate category. Now. Fine. What I'm saying. Fine. This is the uh, external value is a required field actually, right? The external value is a required field. So external category is the one of another one, you know, coming. So we are not done exactly now. Four three two one one nine zero two. You know, see whether any such thing other four three two one one. If it is there, then whatever will not be working now. So we have to go down and then see now. Four three two. We'll now go down. Four three two. <clears throat> so go there. So four three two. So what is the number? 432. 11902. 432. And then 11. Go up. No, no, no. There's any having it now. 432. 11. 432. 11902. 432. 432. No, no. So we have to go down. 432. So go there. 432. 11902. Is already there. That is why it is not accepting it. So 432.11902 is there. And click on it. I will not change it to what? P01 underscore desktop. That is why the insert has failed. Click on it. Now we have changed it actually. So 432.11902 is Amazon's UP, UN, UN SPSC number. So that is going to be mapped to this category. So click on upload. Now going to upload it. So once when I upload it, what happens? It has to say insert of our. Row inserted successfully. Excellent. This is what I want. So it is now inserted. Now, that. So row is upset. So go there. Close it now. And there is no other thing. It's not there. It's updated. Don't save. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> now what I do is 
I will not go to the shopping area. I will not go to the shopping area. Close it. Uh, I will not. What happens? I will go there. I am already in the maze. I am not going to click on it. Uh, I will not minimize it. I click on it. And then in the Amazon shopping, fine, was that? Is already there, fine. Is the one. So this I'm going to add to the shopping cart. Go to the top now, fine, click on it. So let me add to the shopping cart now. I'll go there, click on it. Add to cart. So we are adding it in the Amazon. So once when you add it, what am I going getting added? So we are not going to submit it to the approval. Fine, on. Submit these items for approval. In the $90, fine, click on it. Submit for approval. So it will be brought back to our system now, fine, click on it. Now coming again, what happens if now again asking for one more submit, submit these items for one click on it. Now it will be brought back to our system as a purchase requisition. So the system is what? Sending card to your procurement system actually. Go so go that point. Now what happens? It is now previously what happens? I did one with a what happens with the improper mapping. Now I have done with the appropriate mapping. So go there. So now what happens? Uh, this is now come with what? The appropriate category. So category is very important because what happens? Uh, you may be sometimes approving on the category basis also. So we brought this on our uh, because I I what happens I, I did uh, the previous one fine but some mistake and then it didn't what happens the match at all I made a mistake actually now what happens I got it very proper and this one I got it properly so this one fine so this is the way what happens you have to do the UN SPSC code to be mapped to our appropriate category before you start to what happens the shop on this in fact what happens every supplier will be providing you uh, the list of codes which they have and then uh, what happens you have to map it appropriately. And then create the mapping set, and then afterwards, what happens? So, in the mapping set, what happens? You may even have to insert everything. Fine, right? maybe you are coming a blank now, basically. So, in the blank, what happens? You have to insert it. So, this completes what happens uh, mapping of uh, what happens uh, the punch out suppliers uh, UN SPSC code to our appropriate category. Actually, bye for now. <clears throat>